Oh my god, I look like shit. Good morning, you guys. It is currently Friday and it's 9.55 a.m. I don't have a voice because a few friends of mine and I went to karaoke last night. It was a lot of fun and I spent only like two hours maybe over there and I screamed the shit out of my voice. So I don't have one anymore. So I thought I'd like get you guys updated. I haven't really read anything for the past couple of days. Um... The reason, do I even have a reason? But, hmm, okay. Wednesday, I filmed the video. It was like a makeup tutorial for another channel that I have. I'll leave the video linked down below, so go check it out. Um, yeah, so I filmed that video. It took me like an hour, an hour and a half maybe, because uh, at first I was talking through the tutorial, and then I was just like, yeah, hmm, can't do that. And uh, I did a voiceover in the end, so that took a little while. Editing it was not super hard because um, I just sped through things and it wasn't so bad. I finally got the third book in the Truly Devious trilogy, which is The Hand of the Wall. I think I'm going to read that now. Uh, I do have a lot of time to read because what I was planning was to do a dance cover today. But Jesus, I'm tired. I don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to postpone that for a couple more days. And then we'll get on from there, I guess. I just, oh man, I'm tired. I can't do that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be reading now. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it is currently Friday night and I finished a book. <laughs> I did finish The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, which was freaking amazing. The Hand on the Wall is the third book in the truly devious, devious, devious answer. Um, the Hand on the Wall is the third book in the truly devious trilogy, and holy, holy, holy crap. Okay, if you didn't know, it is a YA mystery, and it falls around two different timelines. In the present time, there is a girl named Stevie who is a true crime addict. She gets access into the school called the Ellingham Academy. And it's for people who are very talented in different things. Stevie is obviously a true crime addict, like I mentioned earlier. And she was really interested in the Ellingham um, murder case. So what happened in the 1930s, I believe, the owner of Ellingham Academy, his wife and daughter gets kidnapped, his wife is murdered, daughter, we have no idea where she is, and there's also another murder of a student who goes to the Ellingham Academy, and later on, the owner itself dies as well. Nobody really understands, like, why it happened, there was no clear motive of anybody who did it, and then, um, obviously, because of all these scenarios, the school does shut down. Fast forward through all these years, the time that Stevie actually goes to Ellingham, the same thing sort of happens again. There are more murders and nobody knows why it's happening. Obviously, Stevie wants to be a detective. She wants to be like Sherlock Holmes or whatever. And she really tries to solve this mystery that has been like haunting her all of these years. She wants to know what really happened. And you know what? It was really freaking good. So yeah, um, I also started continuing on with the Exiled Queen, so I'll get you guys updated tomorrow if I actually finish it. So I will see you all tomorrow with other updates. Bye! Hello my friends, it is currently Saturday night and I finished a lot more of the Exiled Queen. I'm almost actually done. I think I have another about 200 pages or so to get it done completely, so I'm like really close and excited about that because it took me so long. I think I started in like the second week of January and it has been so long. Um, but I think I can finish it tomorrow. It is good so far. I think the first couple hundred pages were not super exciting to me because I was just kind of well, not let down. I just felt like no action was actually happening. And Reza, Princess Reza, is just I don't like her sometimes. She she can be really annoying and she falls in love with every guy she sees. Like if they have a dick, she's in love with them. I think there were like three guys in the book that she kind of gets involved with and two of them she actually falls in love with completely and I'm just like, are you stupid? Like what's going on with you? Like choose one, stay in love with them for some time, get over them and then move on. That makes sense. But for some reason she just like instantaneously falls in love with like everything that has a dick and I'm just like, Dude. You need to chill. That really got on my nerves, but it is what it is. But most likely, I think I will get it done tomorrow night. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, hello, you guys. It is currently Sunday and 9 p.m. and I'm back from church. Um, I'm almost done reading The Exiled Queen. I read quite a bit before leaving. 
um, to go to church. Um, I think I finished like 100 pages or so by just listening to it while I was getting ready. So I did finish a chunk of the audiobook which I'm really excited about and I do think I can finish the rest of the novel tonight. Um, I think I have like another I want to say 100 pages, not even, like less than 100 pages to actually finish The Exile Queen. So I think I can finish that today. And I am pumped. In the beginning of the novel, I don't really think it was picking up that well because it was very slow. And it took its sweet time to get where it needed to. And it is definitely getting a lot better. I'm enjoying it a lot now. Um, we'll have to wait and see for the next novel once I'm done with this. If I'm actually going to continue it like right after, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm standing right now. I'll see you guys with an update maybe tomorrow because I'm definitely finished Excel Queen tonight. Hey, hello you guys, it's currently Monday the 27th and I have been reading quite a bit. So I did finish the Excel Queen last night like I said and I started reading Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. It's great, I'm really loving it. So we follow on Hazel who is a very eccentric human being. She's very outgoing and she does whatever she wants to without thinking about people judging her, that's just the way she is. It's just her personality and she's just a really sweet, adorable person. When they were in college, I think he's a Korean American and um, Hazel really liked him in college. Right now it's about seven, eight years after college and Josh and Hazel ends up meeting again out of circumstances and it's a really fun turn of events. Hazel is like a really funny character. You will get to know her so much better and it is so freaking adorable. <laughs> uh, the romance that is involved is just one that you will gush over for quite a bit. There is an element of a bit of cheating on one of the characters. I'm not going to say which one, but like you'll figure it out really quickly. And um, that's the only thing. Like I hate when people cheat. Like it's ridiculous to me. So that's the only thing that I really hated about it. But like I get how that was a good way to like move the plot. And it does happen. So it is what it is. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I think I can finish it tomorrow because I have quite a bit to get through and I'm kind of lazy about a little bit. <laughs> um, I remember like listening to it last night and then this morning I was like, I don't have a book to read, oh my god. And then I realized like, oh man, I was actually listening to the audiobook before going to sleep and I went back to it and started listening to it and I got so, so hooked. It was wonderful. Um, but yeah, I will pos most likely at least finish it by tomorrow. So. I will talk to you guys then. Hello my lovely people. So today it is Tuesday the 28th and I finished another book. <laughs> so I did finish Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. I really liked it. Um, I did give it a 4, 4.5 stars out of 5. Um, yeah, it was really sweet. It was really adorable. And I also read a couple of um, reviews on how people were like, the epilogue, oh my god, it was not cute. The epilogue, if you have read it, you'll know. <laughs> it's very straightforward. It's obvious that it will happen. Um, so, some people were really mad about it. I, I, for one, I'm such a sucker for stuff like that. So I was just like, damn, it's so cute. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So... It was, it was a great reading experience, but since I was already done with that, I wanted to read something more fast-paced. I really wanted to read another Christina Lauren book. I decided to start reading um, Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. The reason I was like, okay, maybe I should get to that one was because the audiobook will expire I think on the 5th of February on Scribd and I want to get it done before it expires. So that's what we're doing right now. I just started the book and you know what? I'm surprisingly liking it a little bit more than Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. I'm definitely liking it better. I think I finished reading three books this week. So we did finish The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, uh, The Exiled Queen by Cinda Williams Chima, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. So three books. That is pretty freaking amazing. So yeah, it was a pretty good reading week. I'm so glad to have you guys here and I will see you next time with another reading vlog. Bye!